Hey guys, this is Aaron. So we have done a couple landscapey videos lately and uh, something I like to do when I do these landscapes, I thought might make a, a nice skill builder so I can show this to you guys. And that is adding water to a landscape. So we're gonna do that in this video and I'm not gonna talk about it more, we're just gonna go do it. So let's hop in. All right, so I have a pretty simple mesh here. Um, you can see I've got some kind of a, a trough right here. This is a, to simulate like a, a river or a creek or something like that. I have a little teeny tiny lake right here. This drops down below, you can see that. And then right here I have a, a kind of simulating maybe like oceanfront. This is where the land disappears and it drops down into the ocean. So what I wanna do is I wanna come in and I wanna actually make a plane that represents the water level and just put it right on here. Now this thing that I'm starting with, so I started using uh, sandbox tools to create this initially, and this is 100 feet by 100 feet, it's a square. And then I use just some tools to kind of, like I said, give me that bumpy part. That's all pretty simple, I've done that in a couple other videos. This one I wanted to focus on specifically how to put the water plane in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the side right here, and I'm gonna draw a rectangle that's exactly the same size. So like I said, 100 feet, comma, 100 feet. And I'm gonna hit enter. All right, I'm gonna take this surface now. So this is in a group right now. My, my, my sandbox surface is still in a group. So I'm gonna grab this one, and I'm just gonna triple click to grab it all, and I'm gonna put it right here on the origin. The origin is also the point that I started my sandbox group from. So you can see what happens right now. If my water, so I'm using the back side of this surface to uh, represent where the water is, if that water was at zero tall, this is what I get. I have a couple mounds pointing up. So what I can do right now is go to move, grab it, and slide down vertically to have see where I can intersect that plane with my geography, my, I don't know, my contours, my, I don't know what the word is to use there, my sandboxness. So I wanna say right about there is where I wanna put that. And I can see now, if I look at it, this is where the water, if it's at, what is this? Let's see how far below mark, that'll be our, our indicator. So at two foot five below mark is where uh, that water is, that's what it would look like. All right, so that's kind of nice, that's good. That doesn't, that's not perfect, that's not, not everything I wanna do, but you can see it's real simple to just grab that plane and move it up and down and see where it's gonna intersect. Let's say that's where I want it, but now I actually wanna go in and put in, you know, I wanna make this into water now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the surface, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna intersect face with model. With model says any place this surface hits anything else in the model, break it. And there I get that, I get one, two, three surfaces. Um, I can actually get rid of, if I just come here and delete this corner here, swing around, I can delete this over here, this over here, I think that should get everything. That leaves me with just three surfaces. Again, that's nice, but still, still not water. So I'm gonna grab all three of these surfaces, I'm gonna hit my paint bucket tool, I'm gonna go into my standard water group, and I'm gonna grab this one right here. This is actually a semi-transparent, uh, 60% transparency, and it's got a water texture, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to those. So what that does is that actually lets me see through the water into that surface below. It's kind, it's not perfect because I'm on top of white, so I can't see real well. Let's let's add some contour or some, some uh, contrast, that was the word I was shooting for. I'll put this onto there. All right, so there we go. So now, oh, that's a horrible, couple of horrible textures. <laughs> but you can see, you can see underneath the dirt, underneath that water is actually uh, visible there. So where can I go from here? That's, that's nice just to have that intersection. If I wanted to, I could actually close this up a little more. Like I said, right now, this, this whole thing is a separate piece of geometry. So if I grab this right now, I'd slide this out of the way. If I wanted to, I could actually bring this all together. So I could right click and explode that. So I'm gonna explode my, my group with my geometry in there for the ground. 
And that's gonna allow me to come in here and do stuff like, I'll close this up. I'll actually come in here and uh, fill that with the same, whoops, wrong, wrong texture. Fill that with my water texture. And that gives me kind of that, that look there. It was like it's closed up like I have a, a 3D model, a physical model of that geometry. Same thing over here. I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, you can see that's sitting inside that landscape. I can do the same thing over here. This is an easy one because I'll just drop this straight down. This works and closes up so easily because both pieces were exactly the same size. They were both 100 feet by 100 feet. All right, take that just a teeny bit further. I'm actually going to drop uh, geometry down like this. And I'll take this over. And I'll take this over to this corner. So I'm just drawing straight lines along the axes and closing up the geometry. I could actually just draw another 100 by 100 foot plane and bring those around. But uh, there we go. And I'm going to whoops, orient my faces. And then I'll fill this with this just to show. All right, so there we go. Not the, this is not the most beautiful texture. I grabbed something on a whim there. I don't, don't love it, but you can see how quick and easy it was to go in and create water over my landscape just by intersecting a plane and then drawing a couple lines to close up the edges. So what did you think of that? Is that the kind of workflow that you generally go for? Do you have a better way of adding water to your landscapes? If so, we would love to hear about it. We love feedback on our videos. So if you did like this, go ahead and click like. If you think maybe you want to see more of these videos in the future, go ahead and click on subscribe. And if you do have a different way of doing this, or you have an idea that you think would make an even better skill builder, leave that down in the comments. We like making these videos, but we like them a lot more when they're showing something that you want to see. Thank you 